Hello. Alright, so I've had a few people ask me for some reason how they're supposed to actually aim the blunderbuss, so I figured I'd just throw together a quick tutorial for new people to reference or share around. Fundamentally, it's not too complicated. It's a shotgun. You point it at the target, pull the trigger, pellets come out, and... Oh. They hit the ground too early. I guess that's why people ask. Okay, so to demonstrate, I'll have draw firearm trajectories turned on. This can't be done normally on public servers, so I'm using the dedicated server application to host my own. I'll also have the crosshair on, but I normally keep it off in favor of just having the center dot since I've played enough for drop compensation to be just instinctive rather than to rely on shot calls. First off, with the blunderbuss, around 90% of the time you'll want to shoot in first person. For whatever reason, shots originate from the camera and not from where the barrel is, so aiming in third person means a bit more drop but way more horizontal deviation. When you fire the blunderbuss, the pellets are already moving downwards at a fairly significant angle, which I'm not smart enough to measure on my own, but I'd posit it's between 10 and 20 degrees, so in order to hit targets beyond point blank, you'll have to aim up a bit to compensate. This is probably the biggest tip I can offer, because without it, your effective range is only about 5 meters, and you'll likely never kill more than one person per shot, which when you're playing a classmate specifically to get multi-kills is a pretty bad look. By aiming up just a bit, you'll suddenly have an effective range of about 10 to 15 meters, which will often catch people off guard who think they're kiting just outside of your range waiting for you to fire. That's about it for drop compensation, honestly. Beyond 10 meters or so, whether or not you hit a target is completely up to luck. So to summarize, there are three shot calls. At them, above them, up. I'm not kidding about that last one. Whenever you're about to spawn in a tent and just want to fire a shot off before entering melee, point yourself in the general direction of the largest nearby group of enemies, look straight up, and shoot. This costs you nothing, and you never know, you might just hit something. Oh yeah, and then there's horizontal deviation. Each pellet has a maximum horizontal deviation angle of 13.5 degrees, meaning at a distance of 10 meters from your target, each pellet can miss by a massive 2.4 meters. Without getting into how odd a balance decision this is, what it means is that you really shouldn't be going for single targets from even remotely long distances. Instead, you should be deliberately holding your shot until you think it's got a decent chance of hitting multiple targets, since that's what Carpenter is for. If all you do with the class is just shoot single targets at point blank, play Sapper instead and stop wasting a Carpenter slot. Pretty much the only tip I have for getting collats beyond the unavoidable requirements of game sense, positioning, and timing, which all just come with experience, is just aim for center mass plus a few degrees up, like I mentioned earlier. <laughs> Don't aim too high though. The last thing you want when securing the perfect shot lineup is for all the pellets to just whiz over everyone's head so they can just stab you for free. But that's about it. As long as you remember to save your shot on single targets whenever possible, you'll probably have a much better chance of actually hitting neat multi-kills with the silly flintlock shotgun. Just don't shoot single targets. At point blank, that is. If you like this video, let me know and I'll do another tutorial for every other gun in the game. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.